Next, we will look at the categorical cross entropy loss. That is the loss when we have multiple classes, more than, more than two classes. This is also known as the softmax loss. So basically, it is the categorical cross entropy loss is a softmax activation plus a cross entropy loss. Now, let's see how this is calculated. Cross entropy loss is simply negative log of the softmax that we have, softmax output. Now, say we have um, an output from a neural network model, and uh, let's say the model has um, total number of classes in the model is C, so it has C classes total. Then the output of the softmax will be probabilities for each of the classes. The way we obtain those probabilities is by we simply exponentiate the each output of the each neuron for each class, and we divide by the sum of all those exponents to obtain probabilities. So this FSI is the probability for each class. Probability for each class. Then once we have the output of this softmax, the next step is to calculate the cross entropy. And cross entropy is simply negative of the log of this probability for the true labeled class. So for all other classes, this ti becomes zero, but for the class that's the true label, this will be um, a one. Here's an example say that we have a neural network model that has four output nodes one two three and four say the first output node represents the probability for dog the second the probability for cat the third the probability for rabbit and fourth the probability for squirrel now let's say the output of these neurons well they actually don't produce probability, they only produce probability after we apply the softmax. Let's say the raw outputs are dog has output of one, cat four, rabbit eight, and squirrel two. And also um, in this case, let's say that the true label or the actual image, this, this one in this case, actual data is that of a rabbit. So then the first step is to calculate the softmax. And the way we calculate that is we simply do, for dog, the probability is calculated using e to the power one, because the one is the output of the neuron, divided by the sum. So the sum would be e to the power one plus um, e to the power four plus e to the power eight plus e to the power two. This is actually our sum here. And the probability for cat will be e to the power 4 divided by same sum. And the probability for rabbit will be e to the power 8 divided by the same sum. And the probability for a squirrel will be e to the power 2 divided by the same sum. So clearly, the probability for rabbit will be very high. But then the way we calculate cross entropy loss is that we simply negate. And then for each class that's not true, we replace that by a 0, right? So... Um, since the true label is not a dog, we make this zero. And since the true label for cat, um, true label is also not cat, we make this zero. And since the true label for a rabbit is one, we make this one um, a one and everything else is zero. So then we simply multiply or calculate the log of the probability for rabbit and negate it. And that's what gives us the cross entropy loss. So it is simply negative of the log of probability for rabbit in this case. So that's how cross entropy, the categorical cross entropy loss is um, calculated. Now, it is interesting to keep in mind or note that only the positive class contributes to the cross entropy loss here. 